What is up, FIFA Commoners? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for deciding to watch another video on the channel. If you're new on this corner, just drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you're enjoying your FIFA experience at the moment. Boys, we have it. Fabinho, it's the showdown. Rodrigo versus Fabinho. And this guy, boys, is looking sensational. He is looking sensational. Let's start with where we start. He is Brazilian, of course. Born in Campani Campinas. Uh, he has played for Fluminense, uh, a Brazilian professional soccer club. Then he moved to uh, Real Madrid. He didn't do any appearances, many appearances there. He moved on to Monaco, more than 100 appearances. And then Liverpool, more than 100 appearances there as well. Boys, this guy is... I, there's no introduction needed for, for Fabinho. Uh, he has earned the nickname Dyson from Europe. Club, uh, like the like the the vacuum company, specifically because of his ability to clean up the messes in the midfield. So. This is Fabinho, aka Dyson, aka Flacco, and let's start with where we start. He's six foot two, super tall, big presence, very dominant on the field. If you've ever used a Fabinho card, you know how dominant, how present he is on the pitch, just like a Dele Ali, right? Moving on to the player rates, medium high. That is what you want to see, and a CDM. Furthermore, that is what you want to see in a center back, and we absolutely love that. He's right foot dominant, four-star skill, four-star weak foot, and that is what just blows my mind. EA Sports went ahead and gave him four-star skill, and that is just sensational, boys. You know how important it is for a, C uh, for a CDM, for a CM even, to have those four-star skills. Moving on to the player attributes. That just means as, as well that you can play him as a CM, you can play him as a freaking cam if you want to. If you're crazy enough, you can play him as a cam, and you, of course, can play him as a CDM and a center back. Moving on to the place, the place plate is fantastic. 90 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. Go ahead and boost that up. Go ahead and boost that up with an anchor, with a shadow. Um, you know, as far with an engine, you know, boost that up. I want that to be boosted a little bit more. Moving on to the shooting. The shooting is phenomenal for a CDM. 88 attack positioning, 82 finishing. That's okay because of the shot power that is at 90. And then the long shots at 80, 84. He can bang those from the midfield. He will do a decent job at shooting those mid, those, uh, those long shots. Penalties are also very good at 92. Moving on to the passing. The passing is phenomenal. He has 88 vision. You combine that with the short pass of 92. The long pass of 92. That is sensational, boys. The crossing at 86 does give you the vibes that he can send. The Yo, this guy can play as a right back. I promise you, this guy can play as a right back. He can also play as a left back. Oh, it's so crazy. Because of that crossing, that crossing will give you the opportunity to cross it for a header in the box. The curve is also sensational. Moving on to the dribbling, boys, is this guy is unique body type. He is unique body type, and that is sensational. You know how, how important unique body type has been in this FIFA, and is still in this FIFA. 92 agility, 92 balance, 90 reaction, 90 ball control, the dribbling of 89, the composure of 92. This guy is going to be Michael Jackson. Not Michael Jackson, but he's going to be CDM version of Michael Jackson on the pitch. He's going to move so, so well. He's going to be able to bully every single attacker that comes his way. And then he's going to be able to distribute the ball. Moving on to the, to the defending. The defending is also very good. 92. An interception, 95 hitting accuracy. You can mine it with the jumping of 86. He is going to be somewhat of a threat in the box. Defending awareness, 91. Stand tackling, 94. Slide tackling, 92. That is just incredible. Anything you put on the defending will max that out pretty much. We'll max it out pretty much. Moving on to the physicality, he is also extremely physical. This is one of the most physical and defending prompt card I have ever seen in this FIFA. The 91 stamina, he'll play the entire game. The strength of 90, he'll, he, he will be able to bully everybody. And the aggression is sensational. Moving on to the player trade, dive into tackle. That is just crazy. He is a CDM as well as a center back. That is what you want to see on your CDMs and your center back because it just helps you in those clutch moments when it's time to defend and you're not actually controlling the player. Moving on to the long passing, he also has long passer, which is CPU aided. Fantastic for a CDM. Boys, this is where it gets even more saucy. And I think eSports should have done a better job at making this a little bit more affordable. 85 is the first panel, 85 overall, 75 chemistry. Liverpool, one player, one team of the season or team of the week in a 4 1, 4 1. So a bunch of midfielders for this formation. It doesn't stop there. It keeps getting pricier and pricier. You need in the second panel a Brazilian player, one team of the season, team of the week. 
85, sorry, 86 overall, 65 chemistry, and a 4411. Bunch, a bunch of midfielders again here. The third panel, it doesn't stop there. The third panel will require one Premier League player, one team of the season, or team of the week. 87 overall, 87 uh, team overall, 55 chemistry, and a 4231 second variation. Again, here, a bunch of midfielders. They really went with the midfielders' formations on this one. The last one is the 88, very similar to Rodrigo. Team of the season or team of the week, 88, 45 chemistry, and a 4-3-3 second variation. Bunch of midfielders and bunch of forwards. Boys, EA Sports really could have done us a little bit of a bigger solid here and made this a bit more uh, affordable. I just I just have this message out for EA Sports. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very sort of newbie uh, YouTuber. I'm not that big, but EA Sports, please, come on. Like This is a time for people to enjoy. It's the end of the game. Stop making your game about just money. Just stop. You're killing everything. This is a thing that everybody should be excited about. Should be able to go out and complete Rodrigo, complete Fabinho to join their team. But look at how expensive that is. Boys, this guy is going to bring you everything you want. He's going to bring you strength. He's going to bring you size. He's going to bring you specific dedication to the defense because of the high work rate. He's going to bring you skills. He's going to bring you movimiento. So the ability to move across the pitch and distribute those balls. This guy is just absolutely sensational. I I am going to have to break the bank and complete him. It's a must. Uh, we hope Real Madrid goes for it. We hope for the Liverpool fans that Liverpool goes for it. This was your FIFA Carpenter giving you a review on Fabinho and telling you that it's a big, big W of a card, but not a W for the pricing. Boys, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you very soon for another player review. Peace out.